It's let's make a deal time at the Oregon Capitol. Republicans back on the Senate floor after walking out way back on May 3rd. Yeah, and finally, finally happened. Late night negotiations between Democrats and Republicans ending with compromises on abortion rights and gun control. Let's get to our Lisa Balick live now following that walkout, not just tonight, but since it started weeks ago, asking leaders tough questions about what comes next. Lisa? Yeah, to quote the Senate Minority Leader, Tim Canope, who led the walkout, he said today, he told me, everybody got some of what they wanted and some of what they didn't. It's been quite a few days since we've been on the floor. For the first time in six weeks, enough Republicans showed up on the Senate floor for bills to start getting moving. Of the Department of Education and declaring the emergency. House Bill 5015. Really Two key issues the Republican minority won compromises on, a gun control bill and an abortion rights bill. The Republicans got the Democrats to water down a gun control bill. In part, it would no longer raise the age from 18 to 21 to buy most guns. But what stays is a ban on ghost guns. Republicans also got the Democrats to agree to remove from the abortion rights bill a provision that would have allowed a child of any age to get an abortion without parental consent, not just those 15 and up. Instead, that bill will now have a section to allow doctors to avoid consent if a child's safety is at risk. Also, expanding gender-affirming care covered by insurers will also remain in the bill. Senator, what's the one thing that you would point to that broke the log jam finally? Uh, really, the Democrats willing to negotiate and to work with us in a bipartisan way to try to um, get these bills done in a way that respected our values and their values. By saving this session, we have moved forward on wildfire protections, on homelessness and housing, on, on uh, all of the drug package stuff that we had with regard to Narcan. Um, I, I, I think on balance, we have done the work of Oregonians. While the Senate president has agreed to waive the $325 daily fines he was handing out to missing Republicans, he did not agree to waive their unexcused absences. Ten lawmakers now ineligible to run for re-election. Ultimately, it's not up to us to determine whether or not people are walking off the job expecting to get paid. But again, with Measure 113, I think there's, there are real consequences, the fact that people are, are, are going to lose their jobs uh, because of this action. So will we see a walkout next session? We have not made that commitment. <laughs> now keep in mind that lawmakers have to be out of the building a week from Sunday, June 25th, the last day of the session. A lot of work to be done, many hours, and probably a lot of nights as well. They'll be in the building trying to get through it all. Live in Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Lisa, thank you. Clock